This video is going to take you through two examples of finding missing sides of right triangles and two examples of finding missing angles of right triangles using Sokotoa. Let's look first at the first example. Here you can clearly see that we're missing this side and it's indicated by this X. So I'm going to start the problem by labeling my sides opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse in reference to this 35 degree angle. The 15 is definitely the hypotenuse because it's the longest side across from the right angle. This side on the bottom is the adjacent because it helps make up that 15, that 35 degree angle. And the X is going to be my opposite. So since I know the hypotenuse and I'm looking for my opposite, I'm going to use the sine function because that will utilize what I know and also help me find what I want to find. So that's going to be x over 15. And then I'll go to the calculator and do sine of 35, which comes out to 0.57 equals x over 15. Now I mentioned here that cross multiplication is always going to work for you, and we'll see in a second why it'll be really important. But basically I'm going to multiply 57 and 15, and I get 8.55, and then I'll set that equal to x times 1, which is just 1x or x. So basically my x here equals 8.55. All right, let's look at the second example. Again, I'm gonna start by labeling my sides. The X is now my hypotenuse. The seven is my adjacent, and the side without a label is going to be the opposite. This time, since I know the adjacent and I'm looking for the hypotenuse, I'm going to use the cosine. So the cosine of 35 is going to equal seven over X. Notice now that this time the x, our variable, is in the denominator. So the cosine of 35 is 0.82, which equals 7 over x. And this is the time when cross multiplication is really handy. I'll multiply x times 0.82, so 0.82x, and that'll equal 7 times 1, so equals 7. Now I have to do an extra step and divide both sides by 0 0.82. 0 0.82. So x equals 7 divided by 0 0.82, which is 8.54. Oddly, that came out very similar to the first example, though it was not supposed to. Now we'll look at two examples of finding the missing angles using Sokotoa. In both of these examples, you can see that we're looking for angles because one angle is labeled with this funny looking zero with a line through it. This is called a theta. And basically it's like an X. It's a variable that we use to designate an angle. So we'll use that interchangeably with x, but basically it just means an unknown. So let's start with the first one. Since I'm looking for this theta, I'm gonna label my sides in reference to that bottom right angle. So my 22 is my adjacent, I have the hypotenuse, and then my opposite. It looks like I know my opposite and adjacent. So therefore, I'm gonna use the tangent. So tangent of theta, oops, of that equals equals 9 over 22. Now this is when we need to remember to use the inverse tangent. So tan negative 1, 9 over 22. And this is going to return the angle to me. And I get 22.2 degrees. Seems pretty reasonable. Now, quick note, if you're using the MyScript calculator on your iPad, you're gonna write a tan nine over 22. The A just stands for arctan, which is another word for the inverse tangent. Okay, now let's look at example two. 
My theta is now on the top left. So I'm going to relabel my sides. The 17 is my hypotenuse. The 6 is my opposite. And then I have my adjacent over on the top. So I know the opposite and the hypotenuse. So that's going to be a sine of theta equals 6 over 17, opposite over hypotenuse. So the inverse sine or the arc sine, 6 over 17, is going to give me 20.7 degrees. Excellent. Hope you found these examples helpful.